Good afternoon and welcome to our February insert. Today we have the pleasure of having Milton Montgomery, who is the site director for the South Carolina Challenge Academy. Mm -hmm. Milton Montgomery. Okay. Good afternoon, every everyone. Good afternoon. Um, Good afternoon. My first question: Who has heard of Challenge? You haven't heard of Challenge? Okay. All right. Well, what I'll do first: I like to show a video. Video will give give you a day day in day out of 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 just what you know like just what these students students do, and and at the end of the of the video, what I'll do then I will have a have a question and answer session, but also too I will allow y'all to ask these young men whatever you want to ask because like they live it, you know I come in and at eight in the morning get off at four four thirty. And I leave them, and they still running around, uh, you know, PTing and doing, you know, like whatever. So, after the video, I will let you have a chance to talk with them. Did you stand like that? surrounded by people who will push you, teach you, 
guide you and correct you. And throughout this entire process, their one underlying goal is to help you, to help you to become the person you cannot imagine you could be. At the beginning, you're gonna think the sergeants or the cadre are gonna be hard, but they're really just trying to instill into you Value. I mean, yeah, they say you hard on me at first, or you feel like they're being mean to you or whatever, but I mean, that's their job. They have to do that. But I mean, you know, they're just doing that for your own good, just so that you can be a better person. This program is designed to help your mind, your body, and your personal values. Now, let's take the mind for a moment. Maybe you were in a classroom and you felt like you just couldn't measure up. You may have felt like you didn't have the desire to achieve. The Youth Challenge Program will enhance your educational skills and give you the desire needed to unlock your academic potential and help you earn your GED. Now, in order to enhance your mind, your body has to be enhanced as well. You will participate in the Physical Fitness Program, a discipline that will hopefully encourage a lifelong commitment to physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Now you may have a razor sharp mind and be in the best physical condition, but if you don't put those assets to good use, what good are they? That's where personal values come in. You will gain the necessary followership skills in order to become a valued member of society. You will learn the traits of good leaders so you'll be prepared to lead when the opportunity arrives. You'll be given leadership position and have many opportunities for character development. You'll volunteer for community projects and work with outside agencies. This gives you additional career opportunities and helps you to understand the needs of your community. Now you might be asking yourself, why do all of this? Why take yourself through these challenges? As I said before, I'm proud of myself and what I can do. My confidence level is definitely high because I've accomplished so much. I have my GED, and I, I'm, I don't need those drugs and all that stuff anymore. I'm, I'm just set. I wasn't really a bad, bad person, but I just, I just needed to make a change, and I think I really achieved making that change by coming to. No one is obligated to come here. You come here because you want to change. I want you to take a moment to think about your life. Think about your future. Do you want a nice car? Do you like nice things? Do you even want a family? Well, here at the Youth Challenge Academy, you will learn things like how to manage your personal finances, how to deal with emotions such as anger, grief, frustration, and stress. You will also have the opportunity to develop a number of basic skills, such as job searching, goal planning, how to write a resume, and how to conduct yourself during an interview. These skills are essential in getting the right job and building your careers. The Youth Challenge Program, just as the name implies, will challenge you, and it will reward you in ways you never expected. It feels good to have your parents so proud of you, because, I mean, I was never the best kid around the house. I, I, I never had a good relationship with my family. You know, I was never really home, just hanging out with my friends, and now, I care more about the family because I know my friends aren't the right influence on me that I, that I, because you know, you have time, like there's a joke for you and me, you sit down, you know, you know, there's no drinking, no drugs, no anything. You will have the opportunity to make new friends, friends that will last a lifetime, to take field trips that inspire you and allow you to experience new things and take you to new heights. Let me tell you something though. This is not going to be easy. It's not a summer camp. It's going to be tough. It's going to take focus. It's going to take discipline. I have no doubts in my mind that if you give it your all, you will put on that cap and gown and walk across that stage. Well, when my parents see me at graduation, I think that what's going to be around to their mind is 
and they're proud of his son, that he's finally turned his life around and finally becoming a grown man. My family's always been supportive, but to know that I've actually made it, I think uh, they're going to be really excited. I now declare you are graduates of the South Carolina Youth Challenge Academy. But guess what? The challenge doesn't end on graduation day. That's just the beginning. The Youth Challenge Academy has a mentoring program. You will be assigned a mentor who will encourage you to achieve the goals that you and your guidance counselor have set according to your abilities and talents. Your mentor will work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you execute your post-residential action plan. In the end, your mentor is often the person who you will look at and say, I could not have done it without you. Remember, you decided not to be a statistic, but to be a success. And you are meeting the challenge. And you know what? I commend you for that. Okay, you got to average do that for free. I'm about, to, I'm about to call him. I'm about to call him right now. <laughs> well, now see, it was kind of a teamwork thing. Yeah. You know where to help him get his little thing started, and so he decided yeah, to do it for us. So okay, okay. I don't know where he is now in terms of whether or not he would do it for you for nothing. Yeah, but uh, but <laughs> we do appreciate him for doing doing that. But that's what the youth challenge does. You know, uh, program is free. It doesn't force you any well, anything to come. You like the uniform that these guys can come from stand up. Stand up for me, guys. And um you know, the uniform is furnished. Courtesy of your federal and state tax tax dollars. So they just gotta have that will to come there. Because um, you know, well well like it is a volunteer program. So during the during the first the first couple of weeks, we will have students who crying like little little babies. Mommy, please come get me. I promise I'll stay in the house. I won't do nothing wrong. And Not so, those guys. <laughs> no, I don't want these guys here. And so the bottom line is, like a lot of times, you, you know, the uh, you know the parent parents we got to train the you know train the parents too because sometimes right. the parents are soft. Mm -hmm. So we just said, well, ma'am, sir, step back. You know, we got this. And. You know, once they make it, you know, make it, make it through that first first couple of weeks, it's like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm, you know, I'm going to do this, and we do have some that sometimes they get a little smart and they think that they can outsmart us old folks because, you know, hey, you know, um, you know, like these guys are old, so they don't know what's happening. <laughs> but we've been doing this for a long time, oh, yeah. and so. We can outthink them, whether or not they believe it. But uh, you know, we you know we know everything that they are thinking you know, before they do it. But the structure and like the discipline, um, you know, a lot of the students say that you know um, I feel safe, safe here. You know, like they don't have to worry about the gangs. They don't have to worry about what I'm going to put on. You know, when I get up in the mornings, you know, the female don't have to worry about the hair, the makeup, or whatever. Guys don't have to worry worry about whether or not I have the latest sneakers or the latest fashions or whatever. They get up, they go to school. Focus is all about work, okay? And now a typical student in our pro program now, like they have, they have been in the ninth grade, the second, the third year. And you know, like in a lot of cases, you know, like they're not dumb. They just won't stay in school. And so, like we all know that if if it's ten days or more missed, you don't get credit that year. So you know, some of them, you know, like they have they have come up and told you know told us, man, the weather's cold. Mom, mom gets up and leave. They peek out. And mom goes off to work. They double back and they party all day. You know, the weather gets warm. Well, I ain't going to school a day. I'm going to find a lake or someplace to hang out and I'm going to the mall. You know, smart students, but they won't stay in school. So, year after year, they start off and, you know, they, and they, you know, and they, you know, like, don't get credit. So, and, like, once they reach, you know, reach seven, 17, that's when they start thinking that, well, I tried the school thing year after year and I'm ready to bail out. And so, that's where a challenge comes, you know, that comes in. 
because gra graduating from our program with the, with, the, with the GED, they are viewed as any other high school graduate, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's kind of a catch up. Mm -hmm. But at this point, I guess I'll quit talking and you can ask questions of me or ask questions of these young guys here. First, let me um, just tell them your name, your age, and you know, your city. You know, like where are you from? Okay, right from Columbia, and I'm 17. I'm Cadet I'm Peshaw from West Columbia, and I'm 17. Okay. Any questions for them? Um, the program that starts at the age of 16 and moves to 18. So if they came in at 17, mm -hmm. do, are they graduating at 18? No, um, they complete it's the only 22 weeks. Okay. And so right now, um, we have actually, there is a special uh, ruling right now. They will allow them them to like come in at night, 19 mm -hmm. because um, Times are hard, and there are a lot of people out there that are 18 and 19, and they don't have the GED, and they just don't have structure, structure and dis you know, discipline. So we up the up the age a little bit. Is there a waiting list? Right now, we are in the process of having a waiting list, but but due to budget cuts, um, the program has been down downsized twice. And at one point, like we had a cycle, cycle per, per, you know, per 20, 22 weeks, mm -hmm. weeks, week. It was at a, it was at 120, 25 students per cycle. Now we are at 50 students per cycle, mm -hmm. and so we're hanging on by the grace of the good Lord. <laughs> um, but like budget, you know, budget issues have hit home, you know, with us too. What would you calculate your cost at each for each student? Uh, right now, budget-wise, it is about six, sixteen thousand dollars per student. Wow. And that's our annual annual budget. And uh, right now, we are budget budgeted for and for a hundred hundred students per cycle. But based on things or things that we are doing, our our student count now um, it is it's at seventy. But our budget is like based based on fifty, you know, like fifty per cycle. So we are stretching things out a little bit, but you know, but we try. Um, I heard you say that the program is voluntary, mm -hmm. and I guess I'm, I'm I'm amazed by that. And so I, I guess the question for both of you young men that I have is, what what do you think separates you in your own personal situations? If you could tell us a little bit about that, if the, if, if you're if it doesn't bother you to do that. Um, can you tell us um, how you came to the Youth Challenge program and what, was it like self-reflection? I mean, what, what, what separated you from the crowd of people that you were hanging out with to say, okay, I gotta get on the right path? Because that, um, I mean, how, how did you get the wherewithal to do that, I guess is what I'm asking, each of you. To get refocused. I yeah. told, you, I told you that question was coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mother found the program for me, but I wasn't going to go that first, and then my grandma, well, my late grandmother, she asked me to stay in school to get an education, so I came. Okay. When, when the same with my mom found the program through my stepdad, who was actually in the military. Okay. He works on Fort Jackson. So she told me about it, and I was in the 12th grade in school. In fact, I was going to graduate this year, mm -hmm. but um, some things were happening in my life that I couldn't handle. I decided to take this way instead. I think it's really honorable that, that they had the strength, whether it came, you know, ultimately from yourself, but even that you had supportive families that encouraged you to do that. I'm glad that you're where you are. That's great. So what's your relationship with your parents now, both of you guys? <coughs> this is on I know Parker will tell you to speak up, right? <laughs> this is on kind of need to know basis with my parents is I can do what I know, I can do what I want to because they know I'm not going to do the same little things I used to do. Okay. So all I have to really do is let know what I'm doing. I've always had a great relationship with my mom. Always. always. But as far as dads go, it's never been that good. Okay. Do any of you young men have any military aspirations after a plan like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You do? Yes. This is you, you don't, though? Yes, I do. You do? Okay. 
Well, the National Guard guys is trying to get him out of the program now. We told him, no, you got to set, you know, hey, yeah, graduate. Because they come to the building every day trying to get him, you know. Really? And so, like, um, I think you signed up already, haven't you? Uh, actually, I'm, my set that is unsigned the papers. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> he, he was ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and young man, you have no desire for military. Which plan? What are your pl yeah, what are your plans? Just go to college and start to do the instrument. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. And it's not being a sissy just because just because you play the violin. Okay. Oh, wow. That's, really, okay. yeah. That's money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I get them scholarship money for football college. and basketball yeah. out my yeah. side and get back to music, yeah. yeah. And, um, you know, like our, you know, our students, you know, the only difference is like, well, like a lot of times when I look back, I had like two parents at home. Well, mom stayed at home, so we didn't have an option to get in trouble. <laughs> right. But, you know, but like a lot of the students, you know, well, like they are from single, single parent homes, yeah. but you know, a lot of times, you know, like both, you know, both parents are all working and little Johnny is left to make these grown up decisions. And, you know, well, like the stats, the stats show, show that between what, three and three and six is where a lot of the stuff that these kids are doing or well, the bad stuff, that's when it happens. You know, once they get out of school, don't have to, you know, and like got that little time frame. Mom is mom is like not home from work, so they got a few hours to get in the trunk, and you know, like that's when it happens. And like another good thing too, like the court, you know, like the court systems, they are looking looking at our program as a placement because they can like they can you know like put 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 them behind the fence, but you know um, sometimes they'll learn how to be a better criminal, mm -hmm. so they give it an option. Mm -hmm. And so they either look at, well, I either go to DJJ or wherever, or I come to a program like like this. So once they get, you know, get there, they get into the swing. They like it. So can y'all negotiate like different uh, funding from DJJ instead of placing a child behind the fence? So they can come with you guys and you guys get the cost. Working on that right now. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, I should have done a job with you. Man. I, told you need, I told you needed me back then. <laughs> Uh, matter of fact, Mita, Mita Kyle, I knew you know Mita. Mita yeah, Kyle. Mita. Mita was 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 just in a meeting like with us uh, last last week, and right now we are working on a partnership to where that money follows the child to our program. You know, like we still got some rough edges, you know, to like finish, but. Um, you know, we working to get some of that money. Okay. You know, like from the school districts even. Yeah. Be because if, if the school district kicks, you know, the student out, you know, I mean, you know, well, like, well, like they're not rendering <coughs> service to them, so they, they, they need to turn that money yeah, loose. I had right. a kid that was on a waiting list to go to Olympia. I'm like, how crazy is that? <laughs> but, um, but you know, like we got some people that are that are looking at us, and uh, they are saying this is one of the best kept secrets mm -hmm. because you know our kids finish, you know, like finish up, and like and like these guys here. Um, well, I tell you what, tell them, you know, about the edu educational stuff. Uh, Middle uh, Tech, <coughs> GED preschool. Uh, the class I'm getting three credit hours towards college already. And mm -hmm. Wow. Midlands Tech is providing that option for us. Okay, is that through the middle college? Mm -hmm. No, a um, matter of fact, uh, it is C C O L one O you know C O C O L one O one O three, and they have paid one of our our teachers to teach that course, you know, in on site. So they will get three credit hours, you know, like when you know when. When they finish, so they can go right on to Midlands Middle Tech or like any any other tech technical college within the state. Good. Mm -hmm. And like with the GE and on the pre GED, what like you made what? Twenty six four. And so like he's pretty much set. And, and I made a thirty three. And so he's pretty much set. So like the test date 
is on the sec second and the ninth, ninth of March, and you know, like these guys just waiting. But well, with him coming to class as a senior, you couldn't go to uh, the Palmer track? Uh, now, well, well, like we don't offer that no more. Really? Oh, no. Now, down at Aiken, like we had an option to do yeah. that. But like here, um, strictly G GED. But like with that um, Midlands Tech course, they can leave right out of our program and like go right on the middle, middle stack. So y'all still play some mentor with them at the halfway point when they go back home? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And see the good thing about it, you know, like once mm -hmm. once they once they get those three credit hours, mm -hmm. Midlands Tech, you know, and and they keep on going. So you know, two years at Midlands Tech, they transfer to mm -hmm. Clemson, yeah, USC, mm -hmm. wherever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they just keep on going. So uh, it is a launching pad for them. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. if they come in and, and like really get focused about what I want to do, you know, sure. Like they have, they have been out of school for for a while. Some of them will drop out. Some of them have gotten into trouble. But if they really get focused, you know, all that stuff just won't matter. Okay. Any other questions? Good luck, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Anything they care to say? Anything they care to say? Good. Let me call. Let me call Parker. Let me call Parker, man. You got any boy who won't even talk, man? What's going on? <laughs> but I'm gonna leave some uh, brochures for you, and I'm gonna leave some. Um, uh, I'm gonna leave leave a cop copy of the copy of the DVD and some app application packs. So if y'all know it from students. Mm -hmm. Some young people that, you know, and this program will help. How are you yeah. recruiting your volunteers, your mentors with those ones who go, or they select themselves? Still? They select themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. We do the background and screening, but, you know, yeah. you know, they'll bring us a name and we'll get them in and train them and show them just how the mentoring program works. Okay. Good job. And, and, um, and like now, like we, you know, we have gotten... A lot of people like vol volunteering now just to help, you yeah. know, you know, because they know how tough it, tough it is, you know, like for the young guys, you know, coming coming up. So, you know, we got mentors just waiting in the wings. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it seems to be a thing now. People really want to help. Mm -hmm. okay. Gentlemen, Mr. Montgomery, we thank you so much for your time. Oh, we, you know, we enjoy doing doing this, and um, like I said, I'll just leave some stuff here with with you. So, um, all right, some application packets. I'll okay. leave the rest of the rest of the brochure, and I'll go ahead and leave that DVD oh, perfect. in the in the player, and I'll just leave you a few more. So, well, we're gonna use yeah, let me get one of them. Yeah.